there she comes! It's Amiga! Wow! How cute is she today? I heard some guys talking, and I looked towards the door. I see Amika walking into the classroom. The guys are literally drooling over her. Amika Hanazawa. She's super cute. And she's got this really soft and nice vibe going on. She's also really smart. So basically, Miss Perfect. So of course she's popular. She's got this record of being asked out by all the guys in the class. Except me. Hi, Haruto. Yeah, good morning to you too. And somehow, she sits next to me in class. Morning! What's your problem? Hey, you're the problem. You never reply. If I say something, you'll start another conversation. Yeah, so what? <sighs> I prefer not to babysit in the morning. I mean, see, the guy's looking all jealous. I don't want to cause any issues. That's what you say, but you're actually enjoying this, right? I think there's only one person having fun in this conversation. And it's definitely not me. Ugh, excuse me, you think wrong. I'm never going to talk to you again. Okay, fine. Fine? Can't you even pretend to be sad? I thought you were never going to talk to me. Hey, your cheeks are gonna explode. You know what? You're really mean. Why are they so close? The only guy she speaks to is Haruto. Look at her buffing up her cheeks. She's so cute. Why does this guy look so uninterested? Come on, he has to like me. I'm going to make him interested. Haruto, hey, can I sit with you for lunch? During lunch, Amika came to me looking all excited. Uh, no thanks. What? Why? If I sit with you, people will stare. Oh, how about going to the rooftop garden? Ugh, same thing. It's gonna make me stand out. <laughs> what? Why would you start sobbing? You're so mean. Fine. I give up. I'll sit with you. Really? Yay! Yeah, but I didn't bring a lunch, so we need to go to the cafeteria. This is the reason why I didn't want to say yes. Say I go to the cafeteria and sit with her. Everyone knows her, and everyone likes her. So all the guys from the other classes and grades will literally pop their eyes out. I really don't want to be in the center of attention. Oh, actually, I brought you lunch. You what? I made lunch for you. Ugh. She made lunch for him? He must have done something right. But why him? You're not going to waste this, right? Ugh, right. No, I can't waste this, so... Yay! She made lunch? For me? Okay, I need to start watching my back. All right. So, we're not eating in the classroom? I don't want to die yet. Oh, well, anywhere will do. So, we went to the rooftop garden and sat at the very corner where people can't really see us together. Hey, this is actually really good. I know, right? I've been practicing a lot for this moment. Um, a word of unsolicited advice? Maybe keep those words to yourself and just put a bandaid on your finger or something. That'll work better, if you want people to think you worked hard. Oh my gosh, why did I not think of that? You're so transparent. I mean... Well, it's not like I care, so it's alright. Um... And I'm not lying. This tastes great. Is it that good? Yeah, just as I like it. Oh, good. Yay! I made him say it's good. He said he likes it. All right, so the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. After that, I continued to enjoy lunch. She seemed like she was having fun, just watching me and smiling. She's probably just trying to make me like her. But it's not like she likes me, so I'm never falling for this. <sighs> <sighs> Amika? Uh-uh. 
What? What do you mean, what? Are you sleepy? What? I'm not sleepy. Who do you think I am? I wouldn't sleep at school. Okay. She's half asleep. What time did you go to bed? Uh, Eleven? What time did you get up? Like, four? Four? Why did you wake up so early? To make lunch for us and study. Oh, right. Amika is a straight-A student. She probably gets up early and studies every day. But today, she had to make lunch so she had to get up even earlier. And now she's all sleepy. Hey, you don't have to try to stay awake. I'll wake you up before lunch break is over. I'm telling you, I don't sleep at school. No one's looking. Who cares? You have a point. Okay, I'm going to sleep for a bit. Hey! Why are you using me as your pillow? <sighs> and you're already asleep? Hey, get up. Get up! You said I could sleep. I didn't volunteer to be your pillow. Stop! Ugh, she's not waking up. I tried to wake her up, but she seemed to be in a really deep sleep. Maybe she's the type that doesn't get up forever. Anyways, I gotta admit, she's really good looking. Amika's cute and really nice. I get that all the guys fall for her, but I'm not gonna be one of them because I know that she just wants to be popular and it's not like she wants to be in a relationship. That being said, a hardworking person is attractive. If she's always this natural, I wouldn't have to think about her motives and everything. Seeing her sleep like a baby, I pat her head without thinking of what I was doing. Huh? Did I fall asleep? Are you awake? Haruto? What? Wait, wait, wait. What did you just do to me? Wow! I didn't do anything! Don't you remember what happened? Remember? Oh. You can't tell anyone about this, okay? Oh. You remember now? I won't. Calm down. Promise? If you tell someone, I'm coming after you! <laughs> Come on! You just fell asleep for a couple of minutes. You don't have to get all serious. You were laughing! What? Oh, I mean... You laugh? What kind of human being do you think I am? Well, I've never seen you laugh like that, so... I laugh if there's something to laugh about. Hmm... Let's go back to the classroom. What's that hand for? You know, you can't go back to the classroom like that. People are gonna get the wrong idea. Huh? Wow! You gave me your jacket? I didn't want you to catch a cold. Sorry. I was out of line. Why would you be sorry? I should thank you. No need. It's just something I did on my own. You're weird. Thanks. Let's go back. Oh, why is my heart beating like this? No way. Do I? No, this can't be. Haruto Akagi is always a loner. I would never like someone like that. That's what I thought to this point. A few days later. Uh, it's pouring. I'm all wet. Oh, there he is. But I can't talk to him now. I'm all soggy. Huh? He stopped walking. Is he looking into that box? Jeez. Why would anyone get a pet if they can't keep it? What did he find? Uh, let me get you a towel. And he picked up... It's a kitten. A tiny kitten. Wow. She's getting weak. I need to take her home. It seems like that kitten was getting weaker, and Haruto started to run home. I followed him on impulse, and... What now? When I realized I was standing in front of his house, Oh god, what if he sees me? He would think I followed him. Well, I technically did follow him, but I didn't mean to. The kitten, yeah. I'm here because I'm worried about the kitten. Are you okay? Huh? Someone came behind me and spoke to me. I turned around to see someone the age of my mother looking at me surprised. This is probably Haruto's mom. After that... What on earth are you doing? Is this a joke? She brought me to Haruto's room. I'm really sorry. 
I was all wet, so his mom took me to the bathroom first, and I ran into him. Yeah, I'm such a joke. I borrowed the shower, and I'm wearing his mom's clothes. Oh well, I don't really mind. You came because of this cat, right? Oh, yeah, um, how's the kitten? I gave her some warm milk, and she seems to be good now. I didn't know that cats can drink milk. They shouldn't drink normal milk. I gave her some milk for cats. I keep milk for cats because sometimes I see abandoned cats around here, and I bring them home and give them milk. But I don't see any cats. My dad isn't a cat person, so I find them a new family before he comes home. <sighs> this doesn't seem easy. Well... The look on his face shows it's not easy. He probably always had a hard time finding new families for cats. And yet he keeps bringing them home. You know, can I help you with that? Really? Yeah, I mean, it's better to do it with two people. And someone might adopt her if I'm the one asking. You say that by yourself? Oh. But, thanks. And we started to look for someone who would take in this kitten. Amika seems to have some kind of knack. And we were able to find a new home for the kitten. Amika seemed a bit sad to let go. But of course, it's the best for the kitten. But of course, it's best for the kitten to have a nice family. Thanks for doing this. I thanked her on her way back. I've never found a new home for a cat this fast. You're welcome. And I was wondering... What? Don't you want a girlfriend? Where is this coming from? Uh, well, you're really nice, so I thought, um, can you make me your girlfriend? That would be a no. Huh? You're going too far. Even if you want me to fall for you, you can't just lie about these kinds of things. You know, it's good that it was me. If it were someone else... I'm not lying! What? I have true feelings for you. For real. What? Okay. My bad, my bad! Okay, I believe you! So stop crying! Really? But I'm not really sure about going out with you all of a sudden. So how about a little bit more than friends, but not anything serious yet? Can we go on dates? Uh, if you want. <laughs> Yay! I'm good with that. Okay. So our relationship became somewhat different. But she's always coming off pretty strong. So there's not much of a difference. The only difference is now she became all sweet and affectionate. And of course, I fell hard for her in less than a month. 